What's up, Zion? Let's start out with this. The NFL is on the hot seat, right? I'm sure y'all heard about it. The coach for the Miami Dolphins, who coached them this season, uh, they fired him, right? And he won eight games in a row. He's a black man, black coach. He won eight games in a row. Uh, and they wanted him to to lose games. The the owner was gonna pay him a hundred thousand dollars every game that he lost. They wanted him to tank the season so they can get high draft picks, you know, in the upcoming drafts. And uh, he didn't do it. The man had integrity. He didn't tank the team. He showed that he can coach. Put it that way. Black man. Okay. Now this black man is sacrificing himself um, because he still had opportunity to, to uh, you know, uh, on paper, he had opportunity to be a coach for other teams, you know, because he's still interviewing. He's on the list to be interviewed for other teams uh, for a head coach position, even though Miami just fired this brother. Uh, which shows we got some we got some respectable people of our nation, man. Don't ever think our whole nation is a throw us out. You know how they say throw the baby out with the bath water. Because we got some, you know, the Lord got 144,000 on deck, man. You know, elect warriors ready to, to take over as soon as he gives the green light. You know, and we got people who don't even know the Lord of our nation that that have integrity. You know, they have self-esteem. And this brother, Brian Flores, is an example of that. I don't know if he knows the Lord or not. Most likely he don't, being in that position. Uh, uh, when you when you deep in the corporate world, at the table with the white man, and we know the white man is the devil. The Bible says you can't eat from the table of devils and drink from the cup of devils. You know, you, you can't uh, serve two masters. You can't. Eat from the Lord's table in the table of devils and drink from the Lord's cup in the cup of devils. Okay, we, we got to make a choice, man. But anyway, this brother is sacrificing himself. I'm saying this is time for the NFL, all the NFL players to jump on this train, man. Because this is not this brother's fight alone. I mean, he's sacrificing himself for the whole of his people, you know, for he's <laughs> laying down his life because it's a great possibility he's gonna get blackballed the same way. Uh, what's his name, Kaepernick, for the the quarterback for the uh, San Francisco 49ers, he did the same thing, and it's like nobody had his back. None of the NFL players they have his back behind closed door, but no, we need you to come out. From among them, be separate. We need you to make some noise. NFL players, you guys make all that money. Millionaires. And y'all some big old cowards. Big old sissies, man. This is the time you should be boycotting. This is the time not to be selfish, but become selfless. And that's what this Brian Flores, man, I'm, I'm, I'm liking him unto him as our Lord and Savior, man, who, who was selfless. Not sell fish, and you know fish comes with a smell, a stinky stench. And all those players who are sell fish, who are not jumping on this train, you smell like fish, funky fish. Okay, you a stench in the Lord's nostrils. Okay, because this is not this man's fight alone. This is all of you, you all's fight. NFL players, if you wasn't selfish. Thinking about your own selves, all right, and you lay down your life as our Lord Savior Jesus Christ showed us what we got to do in order to get victory from our enemies. You're gonna have to lay down your life, and that's the train we should be on anyway. Is the Lord's train, as Isaiah said in uh, chapter six of Isaiah? Uh, you know, the day that Uriah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up and sitting on his throne and his train did fill the temple. Let's get on the Lord's train, man. Let's all see Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, high and lifted up. Right. 
and let his train fill your temple, man. The temple of your body. Let your body become the temple of the Lord. Because you NFL players are sacrificing your bodies. Your, 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 you sacrifice your whole life to play this game of football. And the NFL don't care nothing about you. You don't, you got to fight so hard to get medical benefits. Just like the United States Army vets had to fight. You got so many homeless vets, it ain't funny. You know, they fought for this so-called country and this country turned their back on the vets, man, giving them crumbs. And the black soldiers didn't even get acknowledged after they fought for this country. That's why Muhammad Ali was a smart man, even though he didn't exalt Jesus Christ and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the man had some smarts about himself. You know, he knew that wasn't his fight. He knew that wasn't his war. He didn't sacrifice his body, his life, you know, to fight for the white man. But that's what you NFL players are doing. You're sacrificing your life, your body, your futures with selfishness. You're doing it for the white man. This is the time to jump ship, man. This is a time to get on the train with your brother, uh, Brian Flores, Coach Flores. Get on this train, man. Can't you see when the train is coming as runaway slaves to get off the plantation? Here's a train of freedom coming. Jump on the train of freedom, man. Stop being selfish. Think about your brother and, and your children and your sons and your sons' sons and your grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. How You want something better for them. Demand black ownership today. Demand black, all the, the, the coaching vacancies right now in the, in the NFL. Make them put black players, black coaches in those positions right now. Demand it. Boycott. Strike. Come together. This is the time we must come together, man. The NBA had their chance during the strike, during the bubble. And LeBron James uh, was, the, you know, being the so-called leader player in the NFL. I mean, he, he was the voice. He could have called a boycott and he let Barack Obama talk him out of it. That's why we ain't getting nowhere. These little tiny baby... I can't even say baby steps. Baby steps. I ain't can't even say that. You you know, the last video we talked a little bit about that. You want this white man to love you so much. You don't want to rock the boat. You got to rock the boat. The Lord told us the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. We got to, you got to boycott. They need you in there. Ain't no NFL without you. Ain't no NBA without you. Ain't no America without us. And it's time to get on this train, man, and let Jesus Christ, I'm talking about, let, it's Jesus Christ train. You know, Brian Flores, you know, even though he's doing it in the physical world, he's doing it uh, uh, for in a corner, corner way. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm saying it in a spiritual way. You know, not the corner way. But let's use this corner way as a stepping stone. We can use this just like we can use Black Lives Matter. We can use this as a stepping stone. We can use it. Let's use it to knock doors down. Knock all these obstacles down so our people can see Jesus Christ clearly. He's our true leader, Jesus Christ. King Jesus Christ. The Black Messiah. He's our true leader. But yet, let's use these little stepping stones Let's use what we, we can get. But this is the this is with the NFL being on the hot seat right now. We can use this, man. Jump on the train. NFL play. Somebody send this to some one, whoever's in the NFL. Send this video to them. Especially the 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 ones making millions and millions of dollars, man. The ones that got a name. Send this to LeBron James. And I, this, this is all of us together, man. You, we, we can't let that one man fight this thing. This is not just Coach Brian Flores. This is not his fight. 
This is all of our fights. They got us thinking we Democrats. Got us still voting. You a constitutional uh, republic. You have non-consent jurisdiction. We are ready greater. They did a hell of a job making us not acknowledge ourselves. They pretend the Constitution don't exist when it comes to us. Treat us like we got no rights and we have the Bill of Rights. Treating us like we're foreigners to this country. Treating us like we're foreigners and we're the landlords. We are the rightful landlords. And it's time to overthrow this white man. Get them out those ownership positions. Get them out those GM positions. Black man, they got a lot of money, but they got no backbone. You got no backbone. You a millionaire, but you got no backbone. You sold your backbone for the money. That's what a nigga is who love the plantation, who love his slave masters. Now they putting these black faces on television. Uh, and they ain't going in. You got to go in. It's the time to go in on that white man. You got him by the neck now. You got him by the They exposed. Coach Belichick exposed himself. He sent a text to the wrong coach. He thought he was texting a white uh, uh, coach named Brian. Okay, he said, congratulations for the job. But it was he got he it was it was the brother that he texts. You know how people send wrong texts. So Coach Belichick, uh Belichick for the New England Preachers, you know, he's he exposed it. So this door is open. They can't get out of this, man. They hand is caught in the cookie jar. And it's time. This is the door is open. The train is here. It's time we Take it by force. It's time we enter in. Let's stop asking permission. Take it. The Lord said possess the land. He said the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. It's time to get backbones, black man, black woman. It's time for us to come together. This ain't no one of our fights, man. When we get something like this, when we get something like this, what, what do you think? Uh, have you ever heard of the Boston Tea Party? Have y'all ever heard of that? The Boston Tea Party? How do you think America got its so-called America got established? Y you got to pull away. It was division. It was war. They broke apart from a, 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 a government uh, that was bullying them. You know, they rebelled against the king. The king of England. They rebelled. You know, against tyrants. When we let, when we keep allowing these tyrants to punk us around, we never gonna get nowhere, man. You gotta hit a bully in his nose. You got to hit the bully in his nose. You know, and they did a hell of a job making us shut our mouth and stay on that planet, just like they told LeBron James that white lady. She said, "Shut up and dribble." That's what she said. Shut up and dribble. That's what I'm saying. They don't they don't want us to have a voice. Now it's time for them to boycott, man. Ain't no NFL without you, black man. Ain't no NBA without you. We can overthrow this country tonight if we boycott it. If we if we jumped on this train, man, take it all the way to Jesus Christ. Ride this train all the way to the promised land, man. Huh? Let's use this as a stepping stone. Black Lives Matter, you a stepping stone. Okay? Because you got uh, LGBTQ uh, rolling with y'all, Black Lives Matter. Uh, we constitutional citizens. We ain't for that. We the righteous, man. We the righteous. We ain't going to have no whoremongers, no Babylon whores, no uh, uh, heathens. Ain't no heathens in the promised land. Y'all read y'all Bible? Ain't no heathens in the promised land. This for the righteous, man. I guess the righteous only see the cross. The righteous uh, will only lay down it, are selfless. The righteous only lay down, will lay down their life for their brother and their sister. They see the whole pie. They see the whole picture. It ain't about self. It's about what's behind us, too. Uh, the righteous think about 
the least of these our brothers and our sisters. Okay? We're not selfish. That's a stench. Okay. And these white folks living in a pastime paradise, they love to oppress. They don't see you as equals. You see it right now. Ain't nothing changed. One, Dr. Martin Luther King didn't change a thing. He only made it worse for us. Right? And your voting ain't done a damn thing. They tell you, you vote, you got a voice. Where's your voice? If you got a voice, let your voice be heard. But voting don't give you a damn voice. The cross of Jesus Christ gives you a voice. Having a backbone gives you a voice. The righteous are what? Bold like a lion. All right? And uh, I guess I said enough on this video. Don't want it to go too long. Well, anyway, this is about jump on the train, man. Let's ride this all the way to paradise. Jump on the train. It's not one of our fights. You see a black man fighting and struggling. When he's discriminated against, that's your son and your daughter. That's you. We in this together. We came over here on one boat. Huh? We ain't free to all of us free, man. Ain't none of us free to all of the... Uh, LeBron James, you ain't free, bro. To, yeah, all of us. You don't even have a voice. You don't have no rights to your own name. That's how demonic this white man is. Yeah, this is a plantation. And unless you on that freedom train and Jesus Christ is your conductor, you riding with the black Messiah Jesus Christ, you still a slave. You a slave on a damn plantation voting for privileges. You don't know who you are and what you are. Till next time, Zion. This King Superman.